know that the average person takes around 7,500 steps a day going to and from their daily activities? In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 7, Paul encourages the church to pray continually. So out of this call, we can use our feet to saturate a particular place and community with prayer, moving out of our routine and beyond the walls of our homes and church buildings. The discipline of prayer walking focuses on offering intercessory prayers on behalf of our neighbourhood, drawing these immediate local concerns into the wider circle of God's loving attention and strategically advancing his kingdom in our communities, towns and cities. While the term prayer walking is never mentioned in the Bible, the Old Testament has several passages relating to this practice. God said to the psalmist in chapter 2 verse 8, Ask me and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. He told Jeremiah to seek the peace and prosperity of the city, praying to the Lord for it, because if it did prosper, he too would prosper. And in Joshua 6, we read of Joshua walking around Jericho for seven days before the collapse of the walls. This is a tremendous model of joining man's availability with God's miraculous ability to accomplish his purposes on the earth. So, how do we prayer walk? Firstly, invite the Spirit of God to accompany you, guiding your steps and your words. Allow the Holy Spirit to help you see with his eyes and pray with his heart. You can prayer walk alone, but many people find that their prayers are more focused when expressed in the company of a friend or a small group. Determine how long you'll prayer walk for, and then come together at the end to share your prayers, observations and experiences. You can pray quietly or audibly for clarity and agreement. And ask God to redeem people as he restrains the enemy. Read scripture aloud. God breathed it and loves to bless it. Pray for the present hour needs of people and places you see, sketching a map to focus on selected streets, schools, shops, health institutions and homes may be helpful. And be persistent. Try prayer walking the same areas near your work, school or home in a regular way. You'll often find that your prayers deepen and your concern and awareness of God's heart for people increases. Opportunities for communication, evangelism and further ministry may arise from it.